Hello everybody, my name is Nicholas and we are going to present you the uh, topic of anatomy and impact of bribery on Siemens AG. The context is that the exposure of bribery of well-regarded companies has increased drastically and also the public has become more aware of the uh, bribery processes in well-known companies. The questions are um, what were the circumstances of these uh, of this large bribery fine and how can these scandals happen and what are the implications and the learnings derived from these scandals. The study is, uh, makes several assumptions, for example that bribery was a prevalent issue for multinationals and that it is often deeply anchored in a company's culture and it is also heavily influenced by the company's management. The main arguments proving the assumptions is that many multinational companies use bribing to enter new markets and win bids there. Um, bribery also helped to facilitate the structures abroad and was often necessary to compete with uh, the foreign companies, um, but was often used to gain an uh, unfair um, advantage. And um, the internal controls did not really... Um, see the bribery as what it, what it is and um, tried to hide them and also did not tell the public about about these processes. Hi, I'm Axel and I'm going to present you the results of this study. So first of all, culture plays a key role in the actions executed by the employees of the company. If practices are deeply anchored in the culture, often the only way to get them out is to bring in outsiders. Management tends to lie and not disclose information if it is not legally required to be open about it. Illegal and unethical acts may be seen as beneficial in the short term, but the future costs almost always outweighs, outweigh these financial benefits. In countries with a corruption-driven business environment, it remains extremely difficult for multinationals to have fair chances of winning bids without using corruption. Leadership is one of the main drivers for compliance in organizations. And lastly, companies need to be aware of the changing society norms and should reflect on them regularly. This means that management needs to be transparent and implement preventive measurements against corruption. External supervision is required. Managers are one of the most important factors for compliance. Employees need to be trained in compliance and anti-bribery. Companies should monitor the changing legal environment closely. Bribery and corruption is not financially beneficial for companies. This means the paper showed that engaging in bribery harms companies financially. We also saw that bribery and corruption are institutional issues that can only be encountered by changing these institutional structures and practices. In order to attract new talent and strengthen the new organization, companies should clearly and openly communicate their changes and new approaches. Organizational and institutional expectations are a major driver for corruption and illegal practices. In order to prevent those actions, companies should engage in incentivizing their employees and management based on non-financial goals and ensure suitable supervisory standards. Thank you very much.